first act of the night comes all the way from Scotland, so if you need a translator later, talk to me, okay? Please welcome the stage from Glasgow, the beautiful, the wonderful Chris Davis! In Scotland, in Scotland, no one is impressed by anything. <laughs> He'd set up this sort of promotion thing, and it was like a loop-to-loop -loop that a car could go and do, right? And I thought, hey man, a car driving upside down? This is some pretty impressive shit. There was like 500 people around. The car starts up. Not one person applauded. <laughs> Just one guy went, nice. <laughs> And I turned around to the guy, I was like, that man, why the fuck did, that was pretty impressive, why the fuck did no one, no one applaud? He's like, well, to be fair, they went to the effort to set all this up and drove a car all the way from England, they were probably going to be successful. <laughs> but if they had crashed, I would have applauded. <laughs> but instead they just said, car share, save money. <laughs> That's so typical of Scotland, is it? Because over here in Germany, you guys have got this really big thing about like Scots being geitzish, you know? And I was like, yes, we are geitzish. We are tight-fisted people, you know? Um, and it was great because I could just imagine the guy like going out to work, you know, the boss, all like, Jimmy, come here. We've got a, we've got a new campaign we want to work on. It's called car sharing. You're going to have to team up with the smelly feet Bob. <laughs> and uh, get him to, uh, you're gonna have to drive him into work. Fuck that, no way, smelly feet, Bob, this is shit, this is bullshit, fuck that, no way. Well, he'll pay you for it. No problem, man, let's do this. <laughs> let's save the environment, let's do it. <laughs> that guy could get raped. <laughs> and like it. <laughs> what the fuck, just because I'm tall and lanky and have a weird accent, doesn't make me homosexual. <laughs> I'm good at three things, and three things only. I've worked in bars all my life. I'm 26 years old. I've worked in bars for like 10 years. I know how to make a drink. I know how to tell a joke. And I know how to lick a vagina. That's it! That's it! That's my three qualities in life. You ask me to do anything else, I'm fucked. And I'll tell you something, a bit of advice for the guys. If you are ever going to go down on a woman, you go down on that woman as if it's the last vagina you're ever going to lick. <laughs> because otherwise it's just going to be ends in tears, man. It's going to be, yeah, Tamika, you love it. Tamika, you love it, man. I'll lick your vagina later, it's okay, I can't do it on stage, it's fine, I'll do it later. But, um, no, the new year is fantastic, the new year's, the new year's, I love it, man. But I'm afraid to say that the Germans, you just don't know how to get drunk. That's it, that's it. Come on, come on. Teach us. Teach us the ways. <laughs> Just one Scottish guy like that. Oh, yeah, man, I'll fucking do some tequila, more tequila. It's true though, but I love it because like, I done that, I, I said that joke a couple of times and like, no one said anything, you know? Like, I was like that. The Germans don't know how to get drunk, they're just sitting there like... Yeah, actually... He's right, yeah. He's right. I can't believe this guy on stage is talking so much shit, but it's actually logical. Yeah, we don't know how to get drunk. A drunk person getting... A German person getting drunk is kind of like... Taking some beer. I feel drunk now. I think I go get kebab and go home. You know what a Scottish person looks like drunk? I don't blame you. I don't blame. I don't blame the Germans for not getting drunk. I blame the advertisement. <laughs> I, 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 like I truly, I truly believe that your beer commercials suck ass and give off completely the wrong impression of how to get drunk. This is a German advert. Have you seen the? Have you seen the Yevor advert? I've seen it on YouTube, but I'm sure it's on television as well. It's this guy. Whoops. <laughs> Shady microphone stand. It's this guy, right? And he's uh, a chiseled guy, middle-aged, full hair, grain beard, really hunky guy, roaming the coast of the North Zee, right? The wind is beating against his face, the dark clouds are coming across the horizon, the, 
The waves are crashing off the cliffs, spewing white foam into the air. And he just turns to the camera and goes, Genau mein Wetter. <laughs> and he's like, and he's like, you know, getting to his little house, his little cottage in the middle of nowhere, reaching for the wee door handle, going in, the room fills with light. Genau mein Tag. <laughs> Opens up his wee fridge full of Yevor, genau mein Bier. <laughs> Sorry, man, but that is not how you advertise alcohol, okay? And the, the beautiful thing about it is, is at the end, the end of the advert, you've got, oh, alcohol is fry. <laughs> Fuck off! No way, man, no way, no way. Do you know what a Scottish advert is like? <laughs> For a responsible night drinking, drink tenants beer. <laughs> I love that voice that you guys have over in Germany. It's brilliant. Genau mein Wetter. You have it on the radio as well, you know, you have it on the radio as well. Spray radio! Zexiga, Siebziga, Axiga. Und wir spielen auch, was heute gut ist. Alright, ladies and gents, my name is Chris Davis. Thank you very much.